Hi. This video is a demonstration of progress made on the Hydra in a Box repository application during weeks three and four of our August through November work cycle. So I'm going to start by showing you the Hydra in a Box user interface. You can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on administration. Now we have been providing administrative features for some time now but what you see here is a completely new user interface. So some of the settings available on the left hand side have been available before but now they're situated in this larger administrative dashboard context and you can see that the, the first thing you see in the administrative dashboard is high level information about who's using your site. Now this is straight out of our mockups. There's not much data actually underlying this and we're not entirely sold on what widgets uh, really belong here but this is a demonstration of the kinds of things that we think people want to see in their administrative dashboards given the data that we um, that we gathered during our design phase of the project. So I'm going to go ahead and just show some of the functionality that we've already had. So the ability to edit labels and to edit content blocks on the home page. This is all still available, though now it's in the larger admin UI. One bit of functionality that we alluded to in some of our past videos is feature flippers. So the idea here is that there are lots of functions that are available in the stack that we're using here. Um, and some of it folks might not want to use. There are bits that you might want to turn off, bits that you might want to configure. And so we have this ability to flip features on and off. So currently there's this assign admin set feature. It's currently on. I can turn it off. You just click it. It takes effect immediately and it persists the setting of this to the applications database. So it will it will be there when you come back to it next time. I'm going to turn it back on. I want to leave it on so I can show you what it does. I'm going to start by creating an administrative set. So you can see here a new administrative set UI and you may be wondering what an administrative set is. So you might think of an administrative set as a collection, but not as a, as a user or end user oriented collection, but rather as a site collection or a curated collection. So this is a collection of things that your library or archive would create and manage and uh, the things that go into it will be governed by the administrative set. So this allows you to see the titles of those, the dates they were created, the creators, you can sort your admin sets, you can paginate through them, you can search them all via this administrative UI. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one so you can see what the form looks like. I'm going to call it Images of Austin Take 2 and I'm going to give it a description. So this is the description of my administrative okay there it is so I'm gonna go ahead and save that you see that new admin set is sitting right there and I'm gonna show you what effect this feature flipper had so I'm gonna click back over to the main part of the UI and I'm going to create a new work so I'm gonna give it a title I'll give it a creator I'll give it a keyword I'll make it public domain I'm going to set the visibility over on the right hand side to public and I'm going to agree to the deposit agreement. Now I'm going to hop over to files and you'll see another unrelated but also new bit of functionality which is this drop files here drop zone. So this is where you can drag and drop files from your desktop right to the file uploader tool. So I'm going to go ahead and add some files. All right those are uploading and those are all there and now I want to click this relationships tab and show you this new bit of functionality which says add as member of administrative set now if the feature flipper were off for apply admin set you would not see this but since it's on you do so I'll select the admin set that I just created and I'll go ahead and create the work okay that's all created and you'll notice here under the descriptions is a link to the same admin set. There is a ticket in place to move this up into the relationships section and that's one of the bits of work that we're looking to do in this current sprint. 
Okay, so now you've seen the early implementation and now I want to show you the design that we're working towards. So disclaimer, this is all a work in progress and we have yet to really vet it with the community and we'll probably be making a good number of modifications to this but we were so excited about showing you these designs and getting them out in front of you that we're showing it to you now. So one difference that you'll see here is now you see an explore collections on the front page which shows you some of the admin sets that would be in your site and you'd also be able to search them and facet based on those admin sets. So I'm going to go ahead and show you more about the administrative dashboard that we're working towards. So you see a lot of the, the same structure here. You see the quick widgets up at the top. You see some collection or admin set activity reflected in the middle. And then down at the bottom, you see some statistics showing you how your repository is being used and how it might be changing over time. There's some notifications here up at the top. And we're going to be producing mockups for a bunch of different personas that map to the personas that came out of our uh, very extensive and meticulous design process. So what you see here is the administrative user persona. And we had on hand some of the Stanford designs, so that we use those here. But there's certainly nothing especially Stanford-centric about what I'm going to be showing you because this is all driven by what our, our users, or what you folks, said were your priorities. So this is the new admin UI. You can see that we make use of menus and submenus on the left-hand side, so that it's going to be really extensible. And we're going to enable a lot of different functionality over here in the admin UI and give you more control over what your site looks like and how it behaves. So some of the same things I showed earlier over here, these are the labels. This is the design we're working towards with setting your labels. And this for the content blocks as well. And now I want to show you what the administrative sets design is that we're, we're working towards. So this would be the, the view where you can see the titles and the dates and a little bit about the metadata. And if you click one, you can see what the show view would look like. Now this is an internal show view for the for the person who created it. So just a quick way to take a look at your admin set and manage it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the create a new admin set and you can see this brand new form that we now created where you can describe your admin set. You can set who can manage that admin set, who can deposit into it, and who can view it. And then over here, you can also give it some settings that will apply to works that are added to the administrative set, which gives you more control over content that's deposited into your instance of Hydra in a Box. So that's the administrative dashboard. And what you've seen is what we've implemented so far. This is our main priority, too, for the current set of sprints. So in two weeks, when you see the next demo, I hope to show you lots of progress on this. So. Thanks for tuning in.